All right. Hey, this is here, and welcome to another wonderful adventure. Today, we're actually playing Dying Light again, the following, which is the DLC that happened or takes place chronologically right after the first campaign, which is pretty awesome. With that, um, let's see. Wish we lived happier times, friends. Wish I could crack a joke uh, around Kamir crashing someone's party like he used to and how he's probably sleeping it off somewhere, but yeah. kamir has gone missing. I think I heard him saying that uh, we should check out the pizza place by the, the beach. Pretty safe area. Last time I looked. So he might be there. Might even be okay. A week ago, Bronku went to the power plant all by himself, saying that he could bring our electricity back. He did. That didn't happen. And no, he didn't bring himself back either. We all knew he's probably dead, but well, the crazy son of a bitch always knew how to get out of trouble, so maybe he got out this time too. Maybe. The vent, the vent, the vent. Left to check at, for supplies at the gas station near the old racetrack. He was supposed to give us a sign once he got there, but we haven't heard from him since. If, if you're near there, please keep an eye out for him. He's wearing this bright yellow T-shirt. You know which one. Remember how people used to call Veneer and Erkin weak and crazy? Guess, uh, guess they got tired of it. I heard them talking about looting the hangars near the Granary. Even though I tried to tell them that it was the opposite, he was the opposite of weak and lazy. Isn't stupid and dead. Yeah, the opposite of weak and lazy isn't stupid and dead. They didn't listen, and now I can't raise that. Raise them. Should be reach them on the radio, not raise. Should be reach. Anyways, uh, if anyone's going there, please see if you can find them. All right, I, I'm tired of uh, reading all this stuff, so. I'll let you guys read that if you guys want to, and so pause the video if you need to, and read to your heart, uh, heart's content. Freaks of nature in some parts of the countryside You'll find extremely dangerous enemies, true freaks of nature. If you encounter such monstrosities, be prepared for a huge challenge. Do not kill them. Don't try and kill them unless you have a knack for finding weak points on enemies, okay? Races. Well, uh, what's the deal with this racing stuff? I've seen some weird posters. Oh, man. Ugh. I miss a good engine's roar more than running water these days. I was a champion once, you know? Five times, back to back. But hey, you just gave me a brilliant idea. Listen, I'm going fucking insane in this place. Everyone's depressed all the damn time. Let's have fun for once, huh? What do you mean? Let's set some engines on fire, man. I have it all figured out. You'll be the next champion. Well... Guess a little distraction would be welcome. Right. So, remember to fuel and repair your ride, and then just drive to the beach outside town. And give me a sign when you're near the pizza place, okay? Or about the pizza place. All right, that should be all of them there. That was a lot of stuff. Okay, before we go, we'll 
see if we need anything. Decisions, decisions. And then sell those three items. And then we're good to go. Wait a minute. How did we break something already? Wheels? How did you break? How did you break? Electric cage or flamethrower? We'll do flamethrower. I want to test that out. That's cool. As I run into everything. Okay, hold the phone. I just repaired you. Did I back out of it? Maybe I did. Actually gonna go and buy all your parts then I don't have to go and search for them all the time strange request oh, it is here okay. who drew this oh that's not important the kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss him. Mr. Post, Mr. Have my package. Can you bring me my bring me package? Sad face, sad so face. So this whole time the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But yeah. the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better. Alright, on that note. Just here, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers... For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it yeah. to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers.
Oh, bolter hunting. Swift-footed bolters feel safer in the fields of the countryside, so they venture outside during the day, sleep during after night falls. Easiest way to find them is to visit the feeding ground their feeding grounds, which are marked on your map. Once they start running, it'd be easier to catch them on, on a buggy. Okay. And again, uh, what I was saying earlier is I'll let you guys pause the video or whatever you guys want to do. Uh, if you guys want to read this, great. I'm not going to read all this stuff because this is a lot of reading. It's Jazeer. Those bandits who took over Erkan's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Erkan's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Okay. Hmm. So many missing people. I mean, it makes sense for an apocalypse. It's a faceless. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. Okay. You can leave now, newcomer. Okay. Hey, kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. You know what's inside? A present? From Mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it, too. And she can play with me again. I'm sorry, kid, but I think your mother's dead. I mean, I hate to break it to you, but you're probably dead. Hey, Paula, I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazeera said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. All right, with that, I will throw that in there. I guess I'll ask Etsky about these details. Hey, Esky, I've... Oh, that's, uh, that's Erkan's daughter, right? No, that's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now. I'm sorry, but she's, uh, conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her and her mother. 
They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. That's her, eh? <laughs> well, we won't have to deal with that soon. So where's the closest one? Clear the area. Wrong clear the area. There. Now that we've got all that talking out of the way, now we can get on to the good stuff, the nitty gritty stuff. Seven weak points. And you have to hit those weak points. I think I hit the weak points. Perfect. I got uh, just the reward, okay? But yeah, those little squares were just, um, them was all the weak points. Can you guys leave me alone? Thank you.